I'm Chad, one half of your award-winning podcast we used to talk about this at work. Today, I'm reviewing Mean Girls 2024, which means on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Who is that? Oh, Lord, it's the Queen Bee. Regina George. Don't look her in the eye. Are you okay in there? We're concerned you're either doing drugs or having a toilet baby. Ah! Look at this thing. I can't Sexy. even see it. Like a face breast. All right. So before we get into it, if you're listening to the audio, please, please, please subscribe to us, share it, leave us a review, give us a rating. If you are watching on YouTube, please do the YouTube things like subscribe, share, post a comment. We love, love, love engagement. So like I said at the top, we are reviewing the 2024 musical remake of Mean Girls. Um... The advertisement is not super clear on that, but this is (laughs) a copy of a copy of a copy. So we all know that uh, Mean Girls, it was originally a book which was adapted into a film in 2004, which was then adapted into a theatrical Broadway stage production. And is now that stage production is now being turned into the movie that we are reviewing right now. So um, in our cast, we have um, Anne Gary Rice as Katie. We have Renee Rapp as Regina George, who, fun fact, played Regina George on Broadway. We have Avantika playing Karen, B.B. Wood as Gretchen, Lily Cavajo as Janet, who we would mostly know her as Moana. Moana is in this movie, and... Honestly, she was unrecognizable to me initially. And uh, we have um, Jaquil Spivey as Damien. And then um, as the parents, uh, we got Jenna Fisher as Katie's mom and Busy Phillips as Regina's mom, who I like just to take a second to pause here and say, like, the casting of the two moms compared to the actresses that they cast to play the daughters was excellent like i feel like those could have been their parents so great casting on that part and then around out the cast uh we've got tina fey and tim meadows um so the story of the movie of this <laughs> this adaptation is the story of the 2004 movie um katie a young girl um moves um back to america and the, you know the the rough integration and the like the hierarchy of like high school, and eventually she infiltrates the most popular clique and brings it down from the inside. But she becomes what she sought to destroy, essentially. Now, granted, there are some updates to this story since it is being told in 2024. So social media is a super big part of the story. Um, which was kind of fun, like the way they used it. Um, so this is a musical and I am familiar with the musical version. Um, one of my favorite songs in the musical is Apex Predator. It's got like a nice upbeat, but in this adaptation, they kind of gave it a downbeat, which I wasn't a fan of, but the song two they had two songs playing during the Halloween sequence of the movie. Uh, which were like amazing and specifically the second song um, someone gets hurt had choreography that I believe is an homage to the the total eclipse of the heart video music video so that was really cool but overall like the music the music segments were fun Uh, some of the songs were really catchy Renee Rapp has an amazing voice but in my opinion Alili Cavajo stole the show like it was her and then Renee Rapp like every single song Alili was in she crushed it even if I didn't care for the song she was the best part of the song uh so I feel like she was genuinely the best singer in the movie and right next to her was Renee Rapp overall this was a fun like fun kind of run down memory lane right like Mean Girls is a modern classic for, you know, us millennials and, you know, and all that. And I really enjoyed it. This was a fun time in the movie theater. I had a good audience. There are a couple good cameos in the movie where 
the audience lost it. There are references to the original movie as well as the stage production. The movie is also quite self-aware that it is a musical. So that was pretty fun as well. Funny enough, at one point, this is going to go direct to Paramount Plus, but somebody was like, hey, that's dumb. This will make us money. And um, at the time of recording this, the movie's not out yet, but I do hope that this movie makes all the money because it was really good. Um, If you enjoy musicals, I highly recommend it. If you don't enjoy musicals, I'm not going to say go see this because you aren't going to like this. Just watch the Lindsay Lohan version. But I've been Chad. Do the YouTube things. Like and subscribe. Leave a review if you're listening to the audio. If you are on YouTube, please, 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 please tell me what is your favorite song from the musical. Mine, like I said, was Apex Predator. And um, yeah, I've been Chad. See you next time.